Okay, a little circle of fifths uh, scale theory. If you haven't read the thread, you should probably do that first. Um, just try to pay attention to the points where I shift up frets and also the jumps between the fours and the sevens. Um, okay, here we go. One, four, seven, three, six, two, five, 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 one, four. Seven, three, six, two, five, one. Okay, um, so that's the main idea. That would be using the um, the low E string uh, and not the high E string. Now you could certainly. Um, use the high E instead and that would look more like this. One, four, seven, three, six, two, five, 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 one. Mess up a little bit, but you get the idea. The jumps. These are the biggest. Uh, I think this is the most important thing about the uh, learning this pattern is uh, the jumps, and that would be like this. These are your. This is your one pattern. One. That's a whole step and a whole step. That would be um, for your ones, fours, and fives. Um, your seven pattern looks more like this. It's a half step and a whole step. That's for your sevens and threes. Um, your sixes and twos are a whole step and a half step. So the uh, fret position shifts occur um, like I said in the thread at the uh, whenever you move from a four to a seven you're gonna shift up shift up a half step uh, whenever you move from the G string to the B string you shift up a half step to um, accommodate for that minor third interval so you're making it a fourth any uh, instead and um, and when you have a 4 pattern on the G string and you're shifting to a 7 on the B string, you shift up a whole step. So uh, just looking at the, the uh, pattern again, 1, 4, 7. So here's that instance where you're going from a 4 to a 7 and you shift up one half step. Okay, so four, seven. Then there's um, if you were going from a four pattern um, on the uh, G string to the B string, that one's you know this might take a little bit more to get used to, but you're going four, seven, seven, four, seven, four, seven, four, seven. Okay. Get the idea. G string to B string, um, you know, that's easy to, uh, like, yeah, three, six. See, you're just shifting up there to accommodate. So that's only a half step. So, pretty easy. It sounds kind of confusing in the thread, but once you actually sit down and apply it, and get used to it um, not too hard you know just be creative when you're practicing with it use a metronome I actually haven't really used this uh, 
practice theory. Uh, I haven't like done it in a while, but when you brush up on it, you know, you could use a metronome and just try to keep going faster with it. Go all the way up the neck without screwing up. That's what you want to do. Uh, other other ways to do it are like instead of uh, going one, four, seven, three, six, two. I like to also go like this. One, four, seven, three, six, two, one, four, seven, three, six, two. And, you know, just keep going up the neck that way. And then you kind of think of it more in terms of boxes, like um, modes uh, have boxes, or even pentatonics. You know, and then you could do that, and then start on the twos instead. So I hope this was helpful to uh, anybody watching, and if you know if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, good luck.